This episode is brought to you by... You already know what it is. with the locals but i already told you we about to shake up the program yeah. and don't be soft is a slogan got that sauce and it's potent grown locally really the dopest that's what they mean by motion oh. read it in the papers eat local make the rigging mean famous Bang. and you know i got the whole team with me they know my body like 50 all black chevy pulling up to the city like squad full of shooters like still got fuller for the video yeah we ball no bitty yeah we win and get with me yeah white boy get busy moving through new york like the slizzies and we got the stick no ditty doing pop-ups no invites still pop like hello boy i play for upstate you can call me carmelo and you can watch me crush a slice with frankie Panello. yeah hey yo what's going on everybody it's your boy the jabroni beating pie eating you know the rest geo gump we out here main street herkimer new york one of the best diners in new york state in the world i don't know what you want to say but the umpire crazy autos umpire diner herkimer new york i'm here with D. Rod Jeter, the captain. Da na na, da na na. We got KB to the side over here, coming up the way. Your boy, your boy ankles. We out here like KB ankles. Listen, season four, Herkimer. I cannot wait to try this place. Home of, home of the biggest omelet known to mankind, by the way. Um, talking omelets here. All right, don't be soft. We talking omelets. Eat local. Eat local. Michael. Michael. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, how are you doing? What? It would have been made tomorrow. It's a little crazy back here. Oh, oh, we got the guy. Right. Um, there are two burgers that are coming up. Guys of the Harrow's. I got We're working on two ladies right now for a different ticket, and we'll be getting yours going down. A mixture of uh, hot dog sauce, chicken mushrooms, marinara, heavy cream, and mild cheese, stuff for your pony noodles. What does Eat Local mean to you when you hear it? Support our local businesses. We take care of the people that take care of our community, and that's what it's about. We, we like Thank to you. take care of everyone, so. We appreciate you. Yeah, we appreciate you guys Thank coming you for in. for the service, too. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we back. Um, Crazy Otto's Umpire Diner. It says New York State's best diner, best hollandaise. Best atmosphere, best pie crust, Number one. and best bacon. We're here to try it out. Yeah, K it's crazy. KB, what do you think about that statement, man? Bro, that's a huge statement to make. Best in the New York State. Out of all, all the diners in New York State, this place is voted number one. And they we're here. E Local just pulled up to it. They hooked us up. We started off with some breakfast. You know what I mean? It's about brunch time right now. So this is brunch. Well, we started off with some breakfast. We got some pancakes, buttermilk pancakes. Oh, those we, are good scrambled eggs. We got some good scrambled eggs. I was just about to say, we got some ham, and then we're gonna work our way to the Irish um, eggs, Benny, eggs, Benny the butchers. Um, we got a burger with egg on it, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, it reminds me sauce. of like the, the hangover burger with the, the hangover egg on burger. it. Hangover <laughs> burger. Yeah. Yeah, I want to dig into that. And then I can't wait to try the Utica famous Riggies, but. Not only Riggies, stuffed regat Riggies. And the plating's. <laughs> Look at the plating. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's next level. <laughs> it's nice. So, first and foremost, like he said, uh, eggs are really good. Yeah. Really good. Well, like, it, it just reminds me of home. Solid it's got that egg. home feel, this diner. That home feel to it. 100%. Solid egg. Thick ass ham steak. Since D's already <laughs> facts, if you get this kind of question, show, show them the ham. Look, look, at that, look at that ham steak. I mean, that's that, a KB that's... size ham, man. Sheesh. No diddy. No diddy on that one. Yeah. Listen to her. Um, D's been busting down the pancake. Nice, fluffy, flapjack. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So nice fluffy flapjacks. Uh, umpire, uh, honestly, uh, the buttermilk stands through. We had buttermilk yeah, chocolate milk too. last night. So the syrup. The, the, the butter is prominent, even through the syrup. Hundred percent. Overall, it'd be a great breakfast to have. You know what I mean? Great, great uh, breakfast. I didn't try the ham yet because the no, pancake is fire. Ham's good. Hit that pancake, brother. No knife needed. Nope. 
Just like mama made it. Just like mama made it. Facts. It's like a good sleepover pancake, right? Yeah, you wake up in the morning. Someone, you guys want pancakes? Someone's yeah, over ma. dad is Yeah, ma. <laughs> yeah, ma. Get about two dozen of them things. Bust them down and take a nap. Go right back to sleep. <laughs> Every time. Wake yeah, up about man. noon. Wake up about noon, then we get that burger. Right. <laughs> Something like that. That'd be the weekend. Weekend vibes. Yeah. Listen, overall. Solid. That's a home run. From the Yankees, though. At umpire in New York State. Yeah. Crazy Otto's Diner. All right, so uh, first and foremost, since we started off with breakfast, A1 breakfast as it is. We got one of my um, favorite breakfast dishes with a twist right here. This is an Irish. Corned beef hash? Corned beef hash, eggs benedict. That's crazy. And uh, I love That's a hollandaise crazy. sauce. It says, New York State's best hollandaise, right over, full of frames his head. Um, I'm excited to try it out. It does have their homemade uh, corned beef hash. So I'm excited to try this out. So dig into it. Nice crispy uh, that corned muffin, beef. Uh, that muffin on the bottom though. Yeah. Have a great day. Have a good one. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate the hospitality. Everything's great Thank so you. far. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. I'm excited to get into this uh, Irish. Uh, Irish Yeah. That's, one of our best items. Uh, that's what we heard. So Irish. This is this is Benny the Butcher if he was Irish. <laughs> Benny the Butcher if he was Irish. Luck of the butcher. Yeah, a little scooby Luck of to the butcher. I need some of that. Yeah, everyone get some runny egg. I know yeah. uh, KB don't, I don't like fuck no with runny, runny eggs. I like my eggs fried. I like mine wet. Hard. I like mine wet. But that's just that's my no personal kidding. preference. That's my personal preference. But this looks amazing. I love a good corned beef hash. Look, it's diner food. Cheers to that. D Rock, D Rock is struggling with his bite. Let's get into it. Whoa. What'd they say? That's how they smell. Oh, that, that sauce is actually. Listen. Wow. Homemade corned beef hash is something different. It is. I could eat that just regular with nothing on it. That smoked? No? Jesus. Tender, yeah, that juicy. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Great that's nice. flavor. Yeah. Tastes a little smoky, but it's not. Which that's is nice. crazy. With the and sauce, then the yeah. eggs, the eggs are cooked perfectly for this dish. Yeah. I like mine a little soft poached. Um great egg in the hollandaise i gotta say they're not lying yeah it's some of the best i've ever had one of the best i've ever had i've had this this, this dish that. a few different places it's similar egg benedict but that that's got a nice nice flavor to it I, I i really do like this is like i said one of my favorite breakfast dishes it's actually one of the first dishes side note to the viewers at home that i ever learned how to cook so uh Always a special dish to me, but with this corned beef. Shout out to the home fries too, like those like hash browns. The potatoes so versatile. When you see them like shredded, I love them shredded like me that. Me too. You get that nice a little like, crisp browning. on the top yeah. too. You know a lot of breakfast places just leave them on the stove just enough to get hot, flip them once and give them to you. No, it's got good. that nice crunch on them right here. I can tell. Yeah. Mm. Tastes like Mama made it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yeah, Mom. Yo, bro. A1, man. I mean, hollandaise sauce, so wow. This is one that I'm not going to be able to stop to eat on here. Damn. Eat local. Eat local. All right, so we got, I don't know what the burger is actually called, I forget. But it's the Boss Burger or something. They got an egg on it. Looks like the onions. Hangover. Hangover Looks like burger. Looks like the Hangover Burger. Something. We got it medium well. First and foremost, though, these fries right here. On point. The, what you look for in a french yeah. fry at a diner, too. Yeah, lightly seasoned, crispy. You hit it already? Oh, let's yeah, go. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, D Rock's a man of a, a, a few words. Facial expressions tell it all. That's a great Where's burger. Where's this burger trying to call again? I'm going to lose the most shaved prime rib and an egg. I brought you out our um, biscuit and gravy to try too. So our gravy is a bacon-based gravy. We make the biscuits and gravy fresh every day. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. We needed that. What's for that sure. ground beef? Like you guys grind that here? Yep. That's what yeah. I could tell. Yeah. We, we hand we do it all ourselves. Wow. Yep, prime that prime rib, rib on that burger with the egg is like awesome. Wow. Soft and tender. 
Can hand me a napkin, boss, please. Perfect size on the on the um on on the on the patty too. All right. That, yeah. With that burger, it was one of our award-winning burgers as well. Yeah. So award-winning. We, yeah. No, you can tell. This is definitely an award-winning burger right here. Yeah. And that's how we'll leave it off. I know it sticks out to me. What's that? Every flavor. You can hit every flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You taste the egg, the burger, whatever that sauce. Prime was. rib. Yeah. Yeah. What's that sauce on there? Uh, mayonnaise and thousand. Ooh, shout nice out to blend. Thousand Islands. So basically like River a River rat Mac. right here. Almost like a Big Mac sauce, kind of. Yeah, amazing. The award that. winner. The joint, the shit literally, it glid through like butter. Like, talk, to, talk to him, what happened? Listen, bro, I put the knife in this in this uh, biscuit muffin concoction, and it was just so he moist. He said, we gotta get into this so before they listen, blow away. We gotta, so listen, we gotta get into these. Because they're light and airy, and I can see it from here. That's what they are, bro. Old school southern style gravy. What? They give off that aura. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm grabbing. Listen, this should feel like a donut. <laughs> this should feel like a donut. Whatever he's talking Just about. grab a chunk of that thing and Ooh, dip it. Nice and warm. So, yo, they said they make these in house every day. Look, this is a warm biscuit. Biscuit muffin. Yeah. Dip it light gravy. That's a light gravy. Mmm. Mm. Yo. Yo. No, no butter needed, boy. <laughs> Bro. What? That shit's A1. What? That's that gravy like you get on a Sunday. Your mom baked chicken. Put it over that with a little bit of rice. And then you got these biscuits. What? Man, I'm triple dipping, double dipping. What? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen. It's like a muffin, bro. <laughs> it's like a muffin top. Dude's yelling at natives <laughs> while I'm enjoying this delicatessen. What? <laughs> e local. Okay, so this is the part of the. Uh, I've been waiting for. I guess you could say everything's from this place that we've tried. It's been super solid. It's been top notch. Top okay? notch. Okay, like award winning everything. Like they have awards everywhere for. I get it, but. You know, the Utica kids are here to try the Utica Riggies, but they got the right color. They got they got sausage. They're spicy. They got all the other workings. They're sausage, chicken, and a stuffed regat. Stuffed with regat. Look at the chicken chunk. All right, I'm trying it out. Yo, you know, no, no, try the noodle chunk. first, buddy. Try both. Okay. You know, KB man. If I can get both, I'm the one eating fucking Riggies with a spoon. <laughs> are you fucking serious? Yeah. Excuse my language. Are really? you in serious? Please that out, Fuller. <laughs> the stuffed Riggies is next level. Just that was also on point. Wow, perfect blend. Okay, so listen. They're hot though. These are spicy. We yeah. ordered them spicy. Let that be known. I ordered, them, I ordered them spicy because I like spicy. But either way, spicy, though. don't be soft. Get them spicy. Let me just say, biting into that noodle. It's Texas toast. It was like a flavor bomb, dude. You bit that noodle, and the ragat popped out. No did. Try it with the bread. That Texas toast. Every, that sauce is super good, man. That Texas toast, even. Hold on. I need another one of these. I want to try the sausage. Split that in half. You guys try that with that toast. He's tried it. <laughs> Bro. Wow. Mmm. I would eat that. Just that Texas toast with the sauce. That's it. Literally. Italian spicy sausage. In give me the mix. give me a loaf of this and just the sauce. We're good. We're good. Wow. We're good. That's all I need. Those riggies are amazing. Listen, I've said this a lot on the show before. These think? may be the best chicken riggies I've ever had in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, and it, it's we keep trying these new places. What are you gonna do? This is a different so things over here were like upgraded and amped up. I've been doing things for a long time, and it kind of makes sense. You got to adapt with the world, right? This is a beefed up dish of chicken riggies right here. You got the sausage, the chicken, all the other regular workings, mushrooms, peppers, onions, and then they stuff the reggaeton. Okay, next level, chef's kiss. Yeah. Eat local, stuff the reggaeton. All right, so we are here at Crazy Otto's Umpire Diner, Herkimer, New York. We are with a couple of the owners and kids, Kelly and Tommy. How are you guys today? Doing good. How are you? Doing awesome. all right. So uh, thanks for having us, first and foremost, and being thanks a part of Eat Local. 
Um, we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves with uh, the food that you guys put out today. Absolutely top notch. Um, but we are here to find out a little bit about the history behind this spot. And let me tell you, I mean, the atmosphere is crazy. Um, yeah, you know, as we look around, we see, I see Star Trek, I see NASCAR, I see comics, I see Red Sox, I see a lot of memorabilia. Could you go into a little bit of detail on how this came to look the way it does in here? No, no. Me? I was like, well, a lot of like the license plate we brought with us from California. Okay. And um, when my parents moved here, they thought they were never going to do another diner. So they had a whole bunch of stuff that they brought with them. And when we first opened, we decided that we were going to do like a promotion type thing where you bring a license plate in and we buy your meal. And so we had people literally going out to the parking lot and taking them off of their vehicle yeah. just yeah. to come in and be like, okay, here's your license plate. I just took, I just took it off. So, so it's important to understand a little bit about our history, right? So we, uh, we grew up in Southern California and um, our parents had a bunch of restaurants out there and they were very successful, but they wanted to get out of the city and retire. So they actually bought a house up in the Adirondacks without even seeing it and they were never gonna have another diner. This place got vacant, there was actually a fire in the back, so we redid the entire kitchen. Um, I also read that your father came through here and seen that there was it was under new management all the time, the spot. All the time, all yep. the time, yep. And then the fire, nobody opened after that, right? So they took it over, cleaned it all up, spent years um, building up the business, and um, now we're, we're finally on the upswing. All of the memorabilia in here, a lot of it came from California, but a lot of it is... Um, I have five kids. My dad is super into families. We're very family oriented. And a lot of the little stuff you see is stuff put up for kids to look at, specifically um, my kids and Tommy when he was little. I see a lot of comic book stuff. Who's, who's yeah. into the comic book characters? My dad. He's yeah. into everything. No, I like it. Like, yeah. like any small business, any local local business, it has character. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent, and a lot, and a lot of it. This place right here, it's one of those old school, you know, style diners. Got the long um, bar counter with the stools. Um, it's been in this place has been in movies before, correct? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's been in movies. I know that we had um, Elvis Presley stopped out front of the diner um, at some point, and I, I don't know. They say that JFK was out outside doing a campaign thing. I, I don't know how true that is. I know we had. Um, uh, Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland came in here. He was in here uh, um, uh, uh, yes. last year. So we're an original 1952 Mountain View Diner. Uh, we were manufactured in New Jersey, and one of the cool things is there's only like four of them left in the whole United States. So it's super cool. Only four left in the whole United States and voted one of the best diners in New York State. And let me just say that offhand, too. The Hollandaise, everything the way it was cooked was, again, top notch. Um, talk about the um, world record and the biggest omelet known to mankind, I mean, basically. So she might be able to help better with the first two because I was real little when those ones were going on. Okay. But the one that we did here right in Herkimer, we did right outside in our parking lot. We had 110 of like the eight foot tables and we cooked the omelet on 11 grills. We had them all lined up with the gas and everything and they did an overlap underlap system and they put the ta uh, omelets onto the tables on tin foil. So that way the sun would start baking it and cooking it all together wow. to make one big omelet. And it was uh, 41,040 eggs, 100 gallons of milk, 200 pounds of cheese. It took about seven and a half hours to cook it all. You know, and we had to actually have like one of the Cisco trucks, like the uh, refrigerated trucks, be parked in the back a couple of days ahead of time so we could start pulling out the eggs and hand crack them all ourselves, did it all ourselves of the whisking of the egg wash. And it probably, like I said, took about seven and a half hours. The number that sticks out to me there is the 41,000 eggs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hand cracked. Yeah. yeah. Hand cracked. So yeah, if you look too, when you come in right next to our wheel that we have, there's a couple pictures of yeah. the festivities going on a couple days before and during the omelet. And it was the uh, world's largest pool table omelet. So, so like, we were sponsored by the American Pool Association. So that's why we did it as a pool table. So like the first one was just the world's largest omelet. And that was in California. And that was in the early 90s. And then we did one, another one in Southern California. And that was, we turned it into an American flag um, with tortillas and salsa and stuff like that. So, and then the one out here was the pool table. And it was actually the first two were uh, in the Guinness Book of World Records, 
the third one had to be um, certified by Ripley's Believe It or Not because uh, the Guinness Book of World Records wouldn't certify it because we did not use free range eggs. Boo, Guinness World <laughs> Records, free range. Listen, their eggs nonetheless is the biggest yeah. omelet you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Um, whose idea? Like, where did that idea come from? Let's make an omelet as big as we can. Our dad. Our dad. Your dad just seems yeah. like a legend all around. Yeah. So Scott yeah. Scott Tanter, um, he, he's wrote, he's written books and all sorts of things, correct? Oh, yeah. yeah, cookbooks. He had a TV show called uh, CNY Flavor. Yep. He's just quite the character. He's he's an awesome, awesome person. So Crazy Auto's his original dream and love for cooking started when he was a little kid. He wanted an easy bake oven. His dad was not happy, and his mom fought started for Started learning it. from yeah. his aunts, and he didn't want, they, yeah. he didn't like that either. Yeah. His dad. Yeah. Yeah. And that's and that's it. The, the rest is history, you know. And here we are. Hey, shout out Scott. Um, one more question before we get out of here, unless there's anything else that you guys want to add. Not anything else. No, we're just really thankful that you guys Absolutely. came today and, and for the opportunity. Yeah, we're thankful to too. Able. Yes, thank yeah, you guys for having you guys. us. Yeah. Absolutely. We've had a ball. We, we had some of the best food that we've had on the show. Some of the craziest Wait. Rickies that I still blow my mind. Stuff for gas shells. Yeah. Um, but one more question before we get out, and it's for both of you two. Um, what does eat local mean to you when you hear it? No, uh, supporting local businesses and getting the word out there that um, it's not mainstream. It's small town. We're all a family here. You know, we know we know where each other lives. We have each other's backs and situations, and so eating local really means a lot to us, coming from a small business. Yeah. So um, it's more to me than just a, a small business, right? We're big on family. Um, we're really big on being a part of the community. So for us, it's not just simply eating here and, and your money. Like we support uh, local sports organizations and kids and recovery centers and. Basically, any time that we're, we're asked, we really try. And uh, so supporting local allows us to be able to support local back. That's something we embody as well. Yes, thank you guys. Like I said, this is the definition of Eat Local. And um, their father is actually in the midst of turning this over to the next generation. And like I said before, off camera, it's going to be into the third generation after that. So uh, more memorabilia, more crazy stories, yeah. more crazy things like stuff Rick got shells more history <laughs> listen yep. eat local in its flesh thanks for watching all right man listen i'm i'm stuff no ditty um beautiful stuff for god stuff for god i'm stuff for god um no ditty <laughs> yo no ditty bro listen one of the best diners and food I've had in a long time. Those oh, riggies were different. Award winners. Award winners. Definitely. Ding, 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 ding. Star. Amazing. Come try it out. And if you don't, you're 100% missing out. This place is a walk through history and some of the best food that you'll have in a long Weird time. State number one diner, too. Eat and local. good people. Great people. Serving culture. Even better people. Turkeys. Eat local. You already know what it is. You know what it is. Eat local. Grab a play. MTM. Go American Go dream, Don't be local. soft, everybody. It's the, the boss. I'm with the locals, but I already told you. We about to shake up the program. Yeah. And don't be soft yeah. is a slogan. Got that sauce and it's potent. Grown local.